Keeping you up to date around the clock, here's tonight's 7 at 7. Dozens of volunteers came out over the weekend to help carry out the MLK Neighborhood Project. Keep the Midlands Beautiful partnered with Habitat for Humanity to improve resident properties. Those volunteers did everything from weather stripping around windows to building stair railings and much more to help improve safety in that neighborhood. We now know the cause of death for 26-year-old Hosanna Dinkins, who died at the Sumter Lee Regional Detention Center while awaiting placement at a state mental health facility. The Sumter County Coroner says the official cause of death was due to blood clots in both lungs. Today, the Greenwood Genetic Center helped to launch the Carol A. Campbell Jr. Alzheimer's Research Initiative. The biospheric system is cutting edge technology that enables the isolation of mitochondria from healthy donor cells to then be used in patients who have defective energy production in brain cells. Absolutely fascinating. The South Carolina Department of Education is now accepting applications for a new program that will help certain families send their children to private school. The Education Scholarship Trust Fund is the largest expansion of school choice in South Carolina history, but the program is being reviewed by the state Supreme Court. Today marks the 51st anniversary of the landmark Roe v. Wade decision, the day when the Supreme Court legalized abortion in the United States. A little more than two years ago, though, the Supreme Court overturned that ruling, declaring there was no constitutional right to abortion. The first vote in the New Hampshire primary will be cast in the first hours of tomorrow morning. Polls currently show former President Trump leading by double digits, signaling that tomorrow's vote could lead to an end of the GOP race if Nikki Haley does not make up a lot of ground. And one dog in Philadelphia being rewarded for preventing what could have been a really explosive situation. According to his owner, Kobe, the four-year-old Husky, dug in the yard and came across a low-pressure gas leak. PETA is now giving Kobe a heroic dog award for presenting, preventing, that is, that almost disaster. Good job, Kobe, keeping everybody safe. That is tonight's 7 at 7.